Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the 2021 Portland Schools National Technical Honor Society Induction Ceremony. For those who may not know, I am Corey Toussaint, the Technology Education Teacher at Portland Middle School and Curriculum Specialist for the Career and Technical Education Department here in Portland. Last year, I was able to gain another title, and that is Advisor to the Portland High School Chapter of the National Technical Honor Society. For some background, and for those of you who may not be aware, Portland was awarded NTHS chapter affiliation just last year. The National Technical Honor Society was brought to my attention by guidance counselor Michelle Ionello, and the more I read about this initiative, the more I was impressed. As stated on this foundation's website, NTHS celebrates the accomplishments of today's career and technical education students, empowering them to know the value and impact of their career paths and trades. Since 1984, NTHS has been honoring outstanding student achievement, providing scholarships, and providing career development opportunities. The National Technical Honor Society currently serves approximately 100,000 active members and nearly a million members since its inception in 1984. Awarding over $2 million in scholarships to date, NTHS honors the achievements of top CTE students, provides scholarships to encourage the pursuit of higher education, and cultivates excellence in today's highly competitive and skilled workforce. Before we move forward with Portland's second official inductions into this lifelong group of excellence, I would like to extend thanks to many individuals. Dr. Charles Britton, our superintendent of schools, has been a steadfast supporter of the CTE department here in Portland schools. In his tenure at Portland, Dr. Britton has found numerous avenues to make the vision of the CTE department come to life. He has also helped support the curricular goals of the CTE department through grant writing, attending numerous meetings, and representing our interests at the district level and beyond. Kate Lawson, our high school principal, continues to impress me with her, what can we do to make this work mentality? Not once have I introduced the CTE initiative where Ms. Lawson hasn't responded with, awesome, what do you need from me to make this happen? Chuck Hershon and Eric Martin, both new administrators to the Portland team this year, have also shown unmeasured support for our career and technical education department as we look to achieve new and exciting things in the very near future. Michelle Ionello and Karen Risley are tremendous high school guidance staff who support and promote our programs to Portland students so that they may find success during their high school career. I would also like to thank the Board of Education, the parents, and the Portland community for recognizing that what we do in the CTE department holds tremendous importance to the students we serve. And finally, I would like to thank my colleagues, the CTE department that I've had the pleasure to work with here in Portland schools. Each year, these professionals embark on a journey to prove to our students that the Portland CTE department provides them with an experience unlike any other. We provide our students with instruction, skills, and opportunities that will prepare them for life and for their careers. And when you have a chance to work with a group of individuals who share in this passion, it's a wonderful thing for our students and a wonderful thing for our school. This evening, we are here to recognize something tremendous, and that is the accomplishments of these students who will be joining the National Technical Honor Society. They have taken the beginning steps down a potential career pathway and have demonstrated a level of leadership and professionalism that makes Portland proud. I am in awe of their accomplishments, which will be recognized this evening, and consider it an honor to induct these young, inv young individuals into this prestigious group. Before we begin the induction, I would like to invite high school principal Kate Lawson to say some words in recognition of these fine young individuals. Good evening, Portland families, and congratulations to the inductees. Thank you, Mr. Toussaint, for your words of thanks and your commitment to career and technical education at the Portland Secondary School. Our honorees tonight are examples of learning in action. Each in their own way, these outstanding young adults have successfully navigated paths and achieved success in finance, technology, communication, and information systems, just to name a few. Some of these areas of excellence often get overlooked within our traditional understanding of academia, but simply put, 
nothing could be further from the truth. These students will shape our collective future. As the leaders, problem solvers, and critical thinkers of the next generation, they are challenged to prepare for careers and technologies not yet in existence. It is their mindset and their can-do attitude that has become a non-negotiable employment and post-secondary personal characteristic. I join my colleagues tonight in honoring their achievements, praising their work ethic, and resting assured that we are in great hands moving forward. My congratulations to all. I would now like to invite our Superintendent of Schools, Charles Britton, to also share some words for these inductees. So good evening. I'm here tonight to uh, congratulate the 12 Portland High School students who are about to be inducted into the National Technical Honor Society. Um, congratulations. Uh, you're, you've been selected for this recognition based on your standout performance in our career and technical education courses here at Portland High School. Um, Portland High School, though small, has a remarkable um, array of, of uh, high quality program of studies for students in the um, career technical fields. And I can't thank our teachers and you enough for all that you've done um, to help make this such a great program. So it's interesting to me as, as we sort of hopefully close out the waning days of this pandemic and hopefully look forward to doing this in person next year. I've been reflective. You know, my, my wife and I had an interesting conversation. I happened to go to high school in the 1980s and we were talking the other day, was what would have happened in the 1980s if we had had a pandemic, right? I suppose we would have gotten packets delivered to our home via U.S. Postal Service and had to deliver those packets back to our teachers by mail. You know, it would have sort of been a correspondence experience for high school or elementary or middle school students. Whereas, you know, if there's, ne there's never a good time for a pandemic, but if there were, it's now where the technology clearly afforded us the opportunity, though different and very hard and, and had its own challenges, still provided us an opportunity to create a semblance of teaching and learning from our homes. And as I think of the future, you know, so much has changed just since I graduated high school in 1990 to today, where technology has infused every aspect of our lives. So I'm delighted that you all have found a passion for and an interest in either a vocation or an avocation that involves career and technical education. It's going to serve you really well in your life. It's going to help um, potentially enrich your lives with outstanding careers and, of course, contribute to the ongoing growth of technology in our world. We have a lot to learn about how to use technology and, and how to explore and apply all of the wonderful benefits of technology in a way that makes our society better. But there are many pitfalls in there. And I'm very confident that the education you've received from our outstanding career and technical education teachers here has equipped you with the skills, insights, dispositions, and habits of mind necessary to go forward and be successful in your life. So once again, congratulations. I'm really proud of you. Um, I look forward to, to seeing this video and learning more about all of your accomplishment in the years to come. Have a nice night, and thank you. Thank you, Ms. Lawson and Dr. Britton. Without further ado, I would like to begin the induction ceremony. While this year we cannot physically celebrate together, please know that each individual recognized today will receive a certificate, graduation tassel, and pin to acknowledge their accomplishment. Let us begin. Being recognized with excellence in the career pathway of business management and administration, I would like to congratulate Amanda Zajac for their induction into the National Technical Honor Society. Being recognized with excellence in the career pathway of STEM, I would like to congratulate Eamon Panetta for their induction into the National Technical Honor Society. Being recognized with excellence in the career pathway of Arts, AV, and Communications Technology, I would like to congratulate Lila Delarande for their induction into the National Technical Honor Society. Being recognized with excellence in the career pathway of business management and administration and excellence in the career pathway of finance, I would like to congratulate Bowden Chenier for their induction into the National Technical Honor Society. 
being recognized with excellence in the career pathway of finance, I would like to congratulate Sean Laverty for their induction into the National Technical Honor Society. Being recognized with excellence in the career pathway of Arts AV and Communications Technology, I would like to congratulate Julia Berthium for their induction into the National Technical Honor Society. Being recognized with excellence in the career pathway of STEM and excellence in the career pathway of Manufacturing, I would like to congratulate Nathan DeSalvo for their induction into the National Technical Honor Society. Being recognized with excellence in the career pathway of Business Management and Administration, and excellence in the career pathway of finance, I would like to congratulate Bryn Hennessy for their induction into the National Technical Honor Society. Being recognized with excellence in the career pathway of information technology, I would like to congratulate Matthew Hernandez for their induction into the National Technical Honor Society. Being recognized with excellence in the career pathway of finance, I would like to congratulate Connor Egan for their induction into the National Technical Honor Society. Being recognized with excellence in the career pathway of finance, I would like to congratulate Cheyenne Markham for their induction into the National Technical Honor Society. Being recognized with excellence in the career pathway of information technology, I would like to congratulate Jackson Decker for their induction into the National Technical Honor Society. Thank you to those who watched tonight. Your support of these students and what they have accomplished is a testament to what makes Portland great and what makes our school a success. Congratulations to our second group of members to be inducted into Portland's NTHS chapter. May you keep in mind the experiences and skills that got you here today. You are now members of what promises to be a prestigious group in Portland schools for years to come. I am honored to be here in celebration of your accomplishments and wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Congratulations once again on all of your hard work and for your induction into the National Technical Honor Society. Good night.